hello i'm going to show you in this video how to how to import weekly enp updates to your enp reader program uh, you will every thursday you will receive from your supplier uh, weekly enp uh, update file which will look like this enp updates 2019-21 2019-22 this uh, this 22 is a week number 22 so you copy that and paste onto a fresh pen drive ensure that you have only only this dealing file uh, on the pen drive then launch your ENP program uh, click tools so you can see get uh, notice uh, get names and permits and name status unknown uh, is uh, highlighted in yellow tile catalog, catalog out of date so you click on get names and permits click next then uh, this is the we have to choose media since we don't uh, deal with the internet uh, we are not worried about it only we are worried about media and email so this is the file that you automatically receive from the supplier so whatever the files that you automatically receive from supplier without you requesting option to choose is media so select media click next and you browse and give the location where you saved it it's the oh, 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 oh. it's the it's the pen drive and once again you be sure that you have only this file in the on the pen drive and then click load right now uh, the weekly ENPs will be loaded right the following uh, media item successfully loaded then now the next step is if you finish you will be prompted uh, to this page again click the same okay then now you can see NMs are only catalog up to date yellow tile is uh, now uh, has disappeared now the next step is um, to uh, get the uh, weekly updates for your ENP books same like you request weekly chart updates for your ENCs so same way click get NNM's uh, permit and then click next now it's email the request and apply so this you request by email then next and select request and click next and uh, browse and give the pen drive location where you want it to uh, be saved at and then close then click save now the update request 136 has been generated this is the file that you have to send to the company so um, when you receive the the reply i will i will uh, i will do the other uh, i will do the next video to show how to apply this reply it's also the same way there is no no uh, nothing different then you select uh, apply okay, apply and then uh, go but i will continue i will show this next step on my next video uh, after receiving the reply so you do the same same way to the backup computer also and the, and the, uh, since this request file that was created is is under the same number request 136 you don't have to send the send the, this request file from the backup computer because these request uh, numbers are the same just in case if these request numbers are different then you have to uh, request you have to send and apply separately to the relevant computer if uh, for example if 136 is uh, from the main computer and uh, and for the backup computer let's say it's 135 or 137 or whatever you first send this one from uh, the main computer and receive the uh, reply and apply it to this program then after applying the weekly updates to your uh, um, backup computer you create the same way the request updates for your ENP uh, books and then the request uh, number we will say uh, 137 you send it to the supplier and you will receive a corresponding uh, reply to the backup computer under the same request number which was created from the backup computer 137 for example so you apply it to that uh, uh, backup computer so don't mix up with the request numbers if you uh, if you if you uh, if you say apply this one to the backup probably the file might not be loaded 
just in case uh, there will be uh, the program will be corrupt so you don't want that to happen so um, uh, ensure that you you deal with the corresponding numbers uh, created from the relevant computer thank you very much